He gave it to us to have a look. He said it was a dummy grenade. He was sitting at his desk, writing something. Everybody was looking, passing it from hands to hands. Then one boy pulled this something out of it. First it gave a little pop, and then the big explosion covering the entire classroom came. I ran out of the classroom and passed out. I was taken to the hospital from there. I feel better now. There was a surgery. It hurts here in the chest. I was transferred here from the intensive care department. That teacher was okay. And the lessons, too. He had a good sense of humor. It was okay in class. We sat there, slept through his lessons sometimes, too. I don't think he's the one to blame. He told us it was a training grenade. He couldn't have given us a real grenade on purpose. And he didn't run away after the explosion. He was there, and he was also injured. I am the mother of Alina Jakubayeva. Today she was transferred from the intensive care ward. Her condition is stable. She has many cuts, the entire left side of her body, including her face, her hands, back, chest. We blame the basic military training teacher. We blame him. It is beyond anyone's understanding how this could possibly happen. Everybody is asking this question now, how? But we don't know the answer. No one knows the answer yet. He was the one who gave this grenade to the children. From what our children say, all 17 students in the classroom, all our children, held this grenade in their hands. The children all confirmed that the teacher was there. He was there and he was helping. He did not run away. So it is too early to blame anyone. No one knows where the grenade came from. All the children say it was a dummy grenade. We just want to know how this grenade made it into the class. This is all we want to know. My daughter is still in the intensive care in severe condition. But we are very grateful to the doctors. We want to thank everyone, the whole staff of the hospital and the Ministry of Health too. Twelve patients were brought to our hospital, and two more patients are in the city hospital number five. They came there on their own. As a result of the blast, these two patients have cochlear neuritis with partial loss of hearing. They are in moderately severe condition. One patient came to the city hospital number seven, but he was discharged from the hospital and is having outpatient treatment. Three patients are still in the intensive care department of our hospital. One is being prepared for a transfer to the Department of Neurosurgery. His condition is grave, but stable. We have nine students who are in neurosurgery and trauma departments of our hospital. Yesterday, the mayor of Almaty City, Ahmedjan Yasimov, said that the children would take a rehab course at the Almaty Sanatorium after they are discharged from the hospital. We have a patient, a boy. He was brought on November 17 among the 12 patients. He has a partial vision loss in one eye, but full examination will be completed in the course of treatment and we expect that his vision will be restored, but only partially. 80% of the kids have partial hearing and vision loss of first and second degrees, but all of this is recoverable. Audiologists are working with them now. They have different extent of damage of eardrum membranes caused by the blast wave, but this is a passing condition. For more news, please visit www.en.tingrenews.kz.